Hello everyone and welcome to Van Tech Corner. In the previous video, we took a look at the GL iNet Fling 2 router. In this video, let's check out the device performance in routing or one to learn throughput test and VPN performance. To be specific, we will check out Wygod and open VPN throughput in client mode. Let's proceed with the one to learn throughput test. Here, I have the Fling 2 in the middle and it will configure as GHCP client from the upstream router. And in this server side, I have the open speed test and iPub 3 up and running. So this is my PC is on the client side. So we're going to set the open speed test and iPub 3 test server and let check out the maximum throughput. Here on the admin panel, the one port has been changed to GSCP client and we can see that the gateway is 10.42.0.1 and it has a one IP address of 10.42.0.36. As usual, I will open top and xtop to see the CPU uses. Let's start the open speed test. So we are having 2056 MPPS download with the CPU loss just 1 or 2% because the hardware isolation is enabled. For upload, we still have the same upload speed which is 1900 or around 2000 MPPS with the same CPU utilization. So in order to make sure the result is accurate, I will refresh the page and let run the test another time and yes the result is correct we have 2000 mpps download and i believe that the same should be showing on the task manager so right here on the network interfaces of the network adapters we have it is 2.0 gpps However, this time we can see a slightly rough in the throughput for upload and it is just 1600. Let's run the test another time. So it is 2068 MPPS for download and 1944 MPPS for upload. That's what we have for open speed test. Let's move on to IPUB3 test. Now I'm going to run the iPub3 to put test in a normal mode with four stream. Let's start. We are running at 2.37 gigabit per second and the CPU is still at 99% idle. So the loss is very little. So let's run the test in reverse mode or download. We can see that by changing the direction to reverse, the throughput is now 1.99 gigabit per second or 2 gigabit per second. So by changing the stream to 1, we can see that the speed vary from 1.58 to 2.29 and at the end it's become 1.96 gigabit per second. Let's run the test in revert and check it out. So changing the direction to reverse, we have 1.87 gigabit per second throughput and still the CPU is at 99% idle. So that's what the throughput for iPub trees and open speed test when the hardware offloading is enabled. So what happened if I disable the hardware offloading? Let's check it out. So let's go to GeoINet dashboard right here, go to network, and then where it is, it should be the network isolation. Let's turn it off, click apply, and go back to the open speed tab to have a check. With the hardware isolation turned off, we have 1400 MPPS for download, and the CPU idle is 66% or it is 34% CPU load. For upload, we have 1600 MPPS 
with the CPU at 67% idle and we can see that the load is mostly on one cause of the CPU. Let's go back to the iPod 3 test and check it out. So we can see that the throughput is now 1.95, 1.99 gigabit per second and this is the final result, 1.88 gigabit per second for for stream in normal mode. If I change it to revert, it will be 1.50 gigabit per second. It is now dropped to 1.39 and at the end, the result is 1.46 gigabit per second. So let's do another test with single stream and check it out. With iPub 3 test in single stream, we can see that the CPU load is around 25% for 1.54 gigabit per second. Changing the direction to revert, we have 1.34, it is now 1.33, 35 gigabit per second. And it is now dropped to 1.26 gigabit per second. Alright, so that's it. The so one to learn throughput test with the Fling 2, the GL's MT6000. And we can see that the maximum throughput this router can achieve with the SCP client mode is up to 2000 or 2 gigabit per second with hardware offloading enabled. And when changing the hardware offloading disable, we have around 1,400 or 1.4 or 1.5 gigabit per second. Alright, so that's what the one to learn to put test with Ethernet. And now let me disable Ethernet and let's run the test with wireless or Wi-Fi. Alright, so let's go to Wi-Fi connected. And now I'm going to disable the Ethernet connection. Okay, so the added edge connection was lost and let's restart it. Alright, so we are connected via Wi-Fi and the link speed is 2402 Mpps. Let's refresh the connection and see if the link is up. Not yet, we have some problem. So let's wait for it to 2402 start 2402 Mpps. Very good. Let's proceed with the test. So as usual, it will be the open speed test. Let's go. Running the speed test over Wi-Fi, we have 1420 Mpps with the CPU at 51% idle or 49% CPU utilization. We can see that the lot is shares on all core of the CPU. And for offload, we have 1,300 Mpps with the CPU at around 69% idle. Well, there are big differences between the download and upload, so I'm going to run the test for another time. Unable to connect, perhaps there was something wrong with the Wi-Fi connection, so we were disconnected. Let Establish the connection. Alright, so I believe we don't need the edge stop and top command anymore. So let's just maximize and let's run the test. So running the running the one to LAN two port test over Wi-Fi using open speed test, we have 1412 MPPS download and around 1,578 Mpps for upload. So that's it. Let's move on to iPub 3 before ending the one to learn throughput test. So I will be running the test with four streams in normal mode first. So over Wi-Fi, we have 1.42 gigabit per second throughput in normal mode. And let's check it out. In revert. 
we can see that for iPub 3, the revert mode or download mode is only 1.1 gigabit per second. And yet we still have a big differences between download and upload. So that is all about the one to LAN throughput test of the Fling 2 GL's MT6000. Let's move on to Wygod VPN and Open VPN throughput test. Setting up Open VPN client is simple. All I need to do is drag and drop the VPN config file, give it a name, and press apply to initialize the connection. Very well, we are connected to the VPN server, and this is the logs. Testing with open speed test, the download speed is 192 Mbps while the CPU is at 93% loaded or 27% idle. For upload, the speed is 236 Mbps with 36% CPU utilization. During the test, we can see that the load is not only on one core of the CPU, but each of the core share a bit of the load. Let's run it another time. That is enough. Let's move on with iPub3 test. For iPub3, with 4 streams in normal direction or upload, the recorded throughput is 230 Mbps. In reverse direction or download, the throughput is 203 Mbps. This is more or less the same with the open speed test result. Before moving to Wagot VPN, let's run the iPub3 test with a single stream. Running the iPub3 test with a single stream, the throughput is around 200 Mbps for both normal and reverse direction or upload and download. Now it is time for Wygod VPN. Same with Open VPN, configuring Wygod VPN is simple. Basically, it is just red and rough. Testing with Open Speed Test, the download speed is 1049 Mbps and the upload speed is 1078 Mbps. During the test, the CPU load is up to 73%. Running the test the second time, the speed is identical, it is 1073 Mbps download and 1069 Mbps upload. Now, let's check out the iPub3 throughput. With 4 streams in normal direction, the throughput is 1.01 gigabit per second. In reverse direction or download, the speed is 1.07 gigabit per second. Testing with single stream, the throughput is 951 Mbps for upload and 930 Mbps for download. Alright, so that's where a quick VPN throughput test with Wygod and OpenVPN. The recorded speed is slightly higher than the speed GLI net status on the website. In real-life users, the result may be a little bit lower due to the unstable internet or one connection. So that is all for this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.